Hi, everybody. It looks like the connection's in and out, but we're at our final day of this epic trip. We're now in Portugal uh, after having traveled from Spain. And I have to say, we are in an epic beach, Costa de Caparica. I want to just sort of take you on a little tour here of the beauty that is magic hour. It's so stunningly pretty. So stunningly pretty. The one thing I would say that this trip has really, really given me is inspiration to, to write, to really surrender to uncomfortability, to learn from moments that are not that pleasant, but yet recovering from them and moving forward. And traveling will do that for you. Traveling will definitely do that for you, thankfully. Uh, it takes you right out of your comfort zone. So I recommend it. Uh, doing it cheaply, doing it expensively. We did it quite inexpensively, so pretty, pretty uh, wonderful that way. And as we hit magic hour on our second to last day, tomorrow we leave for Toronto in the afternoon here in, from Portugal, from Lisbon. I would say that the key piece of it all in life as, uh, as uh, I deliver some information here on these live broadcasts, is that uh, try and find the, uh, the grace, the positivity, and the difficulty. Uh, and try to, not, try to you know, acknowledge your experience in a moment that's difficult, but move on. Move forward. Don't let it ruin the next moment. Let the next moment be, be precious unto itself. I'm looking forward to coming back to Toronto where so much is going on. I'm launching my my website, visualizationworks.com, sort of we, we've got a full redesign happening or a really brand new website, which I'm excited about. It's high time. I had the same website for so long. So it's kind of exciting that we're going to do something different and pretty cool and awesome. And also online programs. I've got a program coming out shortly, the Fundamentals to Long-Term Passionate Marriage. <laughs> and uh, Kevin and I are in our 26th year. So I have to tell you, um, it's sort of a companion thing to my uh, second book, Connecting, Rewire Your Relationship Culture, but it's really speaking true to life too in terms of my relationship, in terms of what it takes to really have a good, long-term, passionate marriage. And uh, also the Positive People Army community. I'm so excited that I'm part of an amazing core group of, of amazing people and we're creating these leadership programs that is uh, going to be sort of... Uh, being released soon. There is a uh, wonderful program coming up, uh, a weekend, that, that, a leadership weekend that you can attend in November that I'll talk more about. So that'll be really, really exciting. And also, I just want you to know that uh, these, this time off has really given me inspiration to write more, create more, provide more in terms of positivity and uh, inspiration and real tools, real concrete tools for relationship building in a positive way. And just understand that uh, uh, the, more I, the more one sits in the moment, whether it's uncomfortable or comfortable, the more one can, and not, and not indulge in the negative, the more uh, transformations can occur for the next moments to be positive. Um, but let me just give you, as I say that, another view of the gorgeousness that is Costa de Caparica, Portugal. And I've got my selfie stick going so it gives you a better perspective or a bigger perspective. I visualize this a lot in my meditations in which so much peacefulness can come from listening to the ocean. Listening to the ocean. And the ocean, I mean, it, you know, it just, it just speaks to... I mean, we're in over 90% water, so, you know, connecting with water is so beautiful. Connecting with water is just so healing on so many levels for the nervous system, for any kind of trauma in your being. It just really, really just relaxes you completely. I recommend visualizing this, this water, when you're feeling stressed out. I mean, the driving has really provided such incredible um, challenge for me, and so I've done a lot of visualizing of this beautiful water so that I can just sort of let my nervous system recover. There it is. So I'll catch up with everyone in Toronto and I will be 
doing more of these types of videos from time to time so that we can, you know, stay connected. And, uh, and all I can say is be peaceful, be loving, be kind, and let the moment uh, that is negative move into the past and let the next moment not be colored by that last moment that wasn't so great. That's a discipline. And it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. But it is a discipline that we all can do. Okay, blessings. Here's the last view of the magic hour.